。上期咱们边吃印度菜边聊新疆菜，这期咱们就直接吃新疆菜，顺便聊聊为什么新疆是中国历来丰富文化交流的其中一个典范。The name of this restaurant, Shi Liu Hongle, literally means pomegranate has turned red. Pomegranate is one of the fruits of this season, and it is also one of the renowned fruits of Xinjiang. Actually, not only pomegranate, because Xinjiang is famous as one of China's more prolific fruit-producing areas,、uh, well known for、uh, its grapes,、um, watermelons,、uh, Chinese dates,、uh, cantaloupe-like. Uh, honey melons, etc. If you're a fan of these fruits, hit that like.、Uh, today, China is one of the world-leading producers of several of these fruits, but not all of them are native to our country. Various references indicate that、uh, a number of these fruits, along with some other fruits, were brought into China ages ago by way of Xinjiang. Hmm. Because Xinjiang, ah.、Uh, Has long been one of China's frontiers and occupies a strategic location on the Silk Road, linking the rest of China with、um, much of the rest of Eurasia.、Uh, nowadays, these foods are no longer considered exotic,、um, but many of them still、uh, carry names that bear their、uh, non-indigenous origin and、uh, once exotic nature. One example is、uh, pomegranate or shi liu, but the whole etymology is a bit convoluted and theories vary. So let's like take a look at another fruit I mentioned just moments ago, watermelon, known in Chinese as xi gua, literally、uh, melons or gourds from the western regions. With the western regions here referring to xi yu, the historical name for an area that overlaps largely with northwest China, including Xinjiang. Another example with identical etymology is Xi Hong Shi, literally a red persimmon from the western regions, referring to the tomato, which is also known as、uh, fan qie, literally foreign eggplant. So named because、uh, tomato and aubergine are closely related. Some other similar cases include、uh, hu lo bo, foreign radish for carrot, and yang chong. Uh, obviously, scallion for onion, and what do you know? The carrot and onion are main features in this iconic Xinjiang rice dish, zhua fan. Itself, another tasty fruit of China's thousands of years of cultural exchanges, because the zhua fan is believed to have evolved from、uh, pulao slash pila. Hence,、uh, it is known in Uyghur as something like、uh, polo. Again. Due to、uh, Xinjiang's historical role as、uh, one of China's frontiers along key segments of the Silk Road,、uh, its position is naturally an international cultural crossroads.、Uh, thus, a portion of Xinjiang dishes have been influenced by foreign dishes.、Uh, as I mentioned in my last video about the cuisine of our neighbor India, I think this is why.、Um, A lot of Chinese would describe Xinjiang cuisine as having somewhat exotic traits, even though everybody knows that Xinjiang cuisine has been an integral component of Chinese cuisine for centuries. And I think the same notion also applies to several other regional cuisines of China,、uh, such as those of、uh, Yunnan and Guizhou provinces, which. Happen to form part of the Tea Horse Road and other important ancient、uh, trade routes,、uh, sometimes dubbed the Southern Silk Road,、mm, through which cultural exchanges flourish. Of course,、uh, cultural exchanges continue to flourish today in diverse and vibrant manners, because those provinces are homes to numerous、uh, ethnic groups. Where their cultures are celebrated and cherished. You know, when feasible, come and see the real beautiful China. Come savor the、um, diverse cuisines of China's beautiful peoples and regions. 再见。